Okay, what's up? Yeah, it's me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm back, man. I'm back. Again. Who? Stop looking at the fish! That's it, you guys don't even want to look at the stream anymore! You don't even look at it! You don't even watch the stream, you just stare at the chat scroll by and look at the fish! It's like I don't even recognize you anymore. You've changed. You're like a, you're like a fish freak now, you just like fish. <laughs> Shut up, Tomato, I'm trying to watch him go. You, you, you don't understand. Can't you see that fish is manipulating you? It's never gonna go anywhere. It's, it's a loop. It's looping. It doesn't ever change. Shut up! Shut up! Please shut up! Yeah. Whatever, man. I'm gonna get fucking owned. This game is tough as nails, dude. Like, this game is not... This game does not fuck around. <laughs> this is a... This is basically a roguelike, Darkest Dungeon-style game where you're in constant 1v1s versus, like, monsters in a kind of fighting game, almost, system. But a very simplified fighting game system. It's a lot of genres all at the same time. We'll probably do gambling for it, despite the fact that it'll inevitably get wildly tough. It's just like Tarkov, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of anger. There's a lot of depth to it. Uh, if people look it up on Steam, they might see it says mostly positive and that it's not, doesn't have the best reviews in some cases, but if you search it, it's own and I don't know why it, this is the only negative reviews it has Are from Japan People from Japan hate this one They hate it I believe it's Japan. I think there's I think the devs actually like I I don't think it's a localization issue because I think the game actually like I don't know. I don't know. It's very odd, but it's happened before. There's been issues before where like one culture just fucking loads the game. So I don't know why, but all of the negative reviews are in a language I can't read. So I couldn't really gather what the problem was. That doesn't bode well if the Japanese don't like it. I, I shrug, man. Like, I've. What was, there was a game I played semi recently that had the same issue and it ended up being awesome. I think it's just sometimes, you know, games just do better in other places. You know? That just. That just happens, I guess. Sometimes they just do better in other places. Maybe there's a situation where the lo like the actual translation for Japan is fucking miserable. But for how long some of the reviews are from those negative reviews, they can't just be saying the translation's bad because you can do that in a sentence. <laughs> so I don't I don't really know. These are Chinese. All right, might be. I didn't really look at it too closely. The fact of the matter is, uh, somewhere beyond the seas, a lot of people hate the game. I don't know why. Somewhere over yonder, some people loathe it. <laughs> but I like it. Didn't you already play this? No, that was Graveyard Keeper, you fool. You, you've, your brain's all goo and you didn't even realize. No, that was Core Keeper. If it has Keeper in the name, people get stunlocked. 
they've seen that one before. There's many games about keepers. Oh, depicting corpses is a big no-no in China? If that's true, that's fucking wild. <laughs> if that's actually the reason for John votes, that, that is fucking wild. It is actually. Is that really? Is, is, is there anyone that's like going through right now on like the translated reviews for this game? Is that really like the, the, the controversy? All the bad reviews seem to be games hard. Okay, because I'm like, I don't know. I wouldn't buy the game if I saw it. Like, it's, it's very obvious what you're buying. <laughs> it's, very, it's very obvious what you're purchasing. So, like, I, I, I just wouldn't buy it. Because you'd have to buy it to review it. I shrug. It matters not to me. Don't worry. The game's good. It, ma it matters not to me either way. But yeah. Dude, I honestly, I've still got like the hunger to play more of the forest. I actually heard that like the game's technically beatable. It's just like not like polished at the end. So I do think I'm going to wait until it's like finished before I play it again on stream at least. I might play it a little bit off stream here and there and enjoy myself a little bit. But uh, I don't think we're going to play it again on stream until it's like feature complete. Because I want to make sure I can catch all the lore. Because I do like the lore of those games. I just wish, dude, stepping away from it after yesterday, my biggest issue with the forest, and it remains this way, is that the story and the survival aspects of the forest and the exploration of it are all working against each other in such a hard way that it feels like three different games or like two different games are in the same game competing against each other. Because there is truly no reason to make a base. If you are only playing to explore the caves and do the main plot line, you don't need to cut down a single tree in your entire life. There is no need. Ugh. And I don't know why they haven't fixed that because that was the issue with the forest one as well. But in forest one, you at least had the benefit of not know if this can even be considered a benefit. I would have called it one of the weakest parts of the forest one. Uh, not ha not knowing where the caves are and where you need to explore. And as a result, base building was incentivized because you didn't know where you were going and had to have a base. So like they took that out completely. Like, I don't know. It feels like something needs to be added to incentivize base building. Like, oh, you need to like, cause there's no workbenches in the forest. Everything is made out of your book. You don't need to make, you don't need pre, like the reason that survival games work is because prerequisites exist that force you to make like a workbench or make something with your tools in order to make something else in order to access something new and this game doesn't have that so there's no reason to make a base like you'd have to like the i liked the way raft did it even though i didn't like the end destination of raft which was you needed to progress the raft in order to make the gps thing to find this stuff the GPS, like basically how the way I feel like the forest should have done it was your GPS doesn't work until you actually build like a GPS tower, like build something that makes your GPS work in different sectors of the map, like let you place them yourself, let you make like a bunch of little like forward operating bases and actively like expand your network or something like that. Because I don't think like... The, the map's too big to not show where the caves are at this point. It's too big. The map's huge. You're never going to find the story destinations. There needs to be something. But that kind of feels like what it needs is, like, something to force you to need to, like, settle down somewhere. Because there's a whole, like, there's 
there's like, you know, the survival based stuff where cannibals and like ever increasing and more dangerous mutants on the surface come after your base and you just don't, the only way to really avoid it is to never make one and you don't need to make one so people just skip that part of the game. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I, I'm also quite happy to just play The Forest as a exploration survival game where I don't need to make a base. I feel like that's kind of what the devs clocked a lot of people want to do considering the tarp exists, like the tarp base, because there's no reason for the tarp base to exist uh, unless they truly believed people would never go back to their base again for the rest of their lives because it's too easy to save your game now and sleep. It's just so easy. What's your current favorite offline game? Right now I'm playing through Bloodstained because I only got through like the first four hours before. I'm like 70% I'm like of the way through. I've been playing it for like two days. Pretty good, I've been playing through, uh, playing through that. Finally getting back to finishing it. It's not bad. Although I do fucking wish, and I, maybe I should have like like modded it myself to have access. Normal difficulty is too fucking easy and I hate it when games block out harder difficulties because they think you're not good at games. Especially a game like Bloodstained that's almost completely like absent of any kind of skill based combat and it's instead about, I don't know, gaming the numbers of the game over and over again just finding the most overpowered synergy. What do I know? He thinks he's good. Normal difficulty is so easy, dude. Like, every game should be required to have multiple difficulty settings at launch. It's too easy. It's actually, like, brainless. I haven't fu Not one boss has killed me. <laughs> not one boss has killed me. I instantly one-shot every boss. And I'm like, damn, man. This would be a lot more fun if I was playing on a harder difficulty, but they locked the harder difficulty behind beating the game once. I don't play through games multiple times. I'm not going to play through Bloodstained again to play it harder. Like, I'm just going to not play it again. So it's like, I'm enjoying myself quite a bit, but I'd be enjoying myself more if it was taking longer because it was more difficult. Why not Freak? I have more games to play. I have more games to play, brother. The revengeance problem? Yeah. It did feel... I mean, I stuck with the right difficulty for a while, but damn. It's a shame that, like... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my real issue with playing through revengeance was that I didn't remember how to get health boosts. <laughs> that probably would have resulted in me not having to swap difficulties closer to the end. But, um, I didn't remember how to get health boosts the entire game. So I was kind of playing on challenge mode. I was kind of playing a challenge mode through that playthrough, you know? Bloodstained is only somewhat difficult if you don't collect any decent weapons. Yeah, but, like, it's so easy to get decent weapons. Like, it's so easy. I've never struggled to always feel like I am way more powerful than everything in a zone. As since like the second zone, I was like, oh yeah, I'm a god. But it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Makes me want to play through uh, Hollow Knight again and actually do all the DLC, but I know I I don't really want that. But I know I don't really want that. I, I, I don't like... There's some games that I like high difficulty. I don't like high difficulty in side-scroller combat games. I like, I like medium difficulty, but I would describe Bloodstained's normal difficulty as wildly easy difficulty. I want my games, my, my side-scrollers at medium difficulty. <laughs> And I heard Hollow Knight DLC is pain, so I don't think I'd do it.
The only like high difficulty side scroller I like playing is Dead Cells, which the only reason I'm playing Bloodstained is because they're making a Castlevania DLC for Blood for uh, Dead Cells that's coming out in a couple weeks, and I'm playing that. I love Dead Cells. I wish I could enjoy Dead Cells, says a chat member. You can't see me right now, but I'm grimacing at you. You can't, you can't see it, but I'm so mad. <laughs> no, that chat member has a point. They didn't make a point. They just said something. They didn't make a point. There was no point there. They just said they didn't like it. That's not a point. Valid. Valid, dude. He's seething. It's just, it's just, no, I get it. It's just, Dead Cells is objectively one of the best roguelikes to come out of the genre. Full stop. End of the sentence. It's a fact. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but then again, I also have my critically acclaimed roguelike that I fucking loathe that everyone else likes, I guess. I hate Enter the Gungeon. I think Gungeon's a piece of shit game. That's mine. I don't like that one at all. I hate Gungeon. Yeah, I hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Yes. Yes, man. I hated Hades. I liked Hades as a game plot with like characters and some of the gameplay was fun for a little bit. And then uh, I realized that the combat really just boils down to mashing the dodge button and doing the dodge attack, which is way more powerful than every other move in the game. And then I kind of lost a little bit of the, uh, some of the wind in my sails died down a little bit, but I still beat it and like finished it. Heresy. It was a little easy. Hades is a little easy. The combat is a little easy in Hades. I still liked it a lot. I still thought it was great. I'm not gonna argue that Hades is amazing. It's just the combat's a little easy. I'll tell you one game that I did not like though, and I fell off of hard in the roguelike genre. Uh, fucking Cult of the Lamb. Holy shit. What a, what an interesting game with the depth of a puddle. My god, the combat in that game was so fucking embarrassingly lame. It was like so embarrassingly lame that I lost interest instantly. The one thing you can't do in a roguelike is have lame combat and not like and like have it really lack any kind of interesting upgrades and modular additions to put on it. Like, Cult of the Lamb is just so boring. <laughs> it's so boring. Once you get into, like, the combat. Like, the the cult management stuff was interesting, and if it was tacked on to, like, an inter like, a compelling game on the other side, it would have been better. But I focused so much on the cult stuff because playing the actual combat of the game was some of the most boring shit ever <laughs> that I could, that I just avoided it at all costs. And then I'd gotten through all the, like, the base building stuff because there wasn't that much of it either. But it was, I had fun for, like, the couple hours I played it. It's just like, I wasn't gonna beat that game. Risk of Rain 2 is probably my favorite in the genre. Risk of Rain 2 is, I mean, no one's going to argue with you that Risk of Rain 1 and 2 are incredible. I still prefer 1 over 2, which is why I'm glad they're remaking it. Because I'm out here, I like Risk of Rain 2, I think 1's better. I prefer 1 every day of the week. I 
I think one is a better kickback and just play it game. Two is a better, like, let's dial in and fucking, like, risk some rain, brother, and, like, get in there with friends. But, like, one is, like, dude, I can kick back, lean back, and actually play that game without needing to be, like, totally dialed in 100% of the time. I also think the music's better in Risk of Rain 1. Yeah, true. True. Though the Risk of Rain 2 music's also good. It's just one's better. Ever tried Noida? Noida with mods? Noida is not a game. I will stand by what I just said as my only observation of Noida here now. Noida isn't a game. It's a compelling sandbox that they forced a game onto and the sandbox hates it. All right, that's what it is. That's what it is. What about gunfire? I love gunfire, but like nothing in gunfire has ever been like, damn man, this is changing the genre. This is the thing, this is the big one. It's just a good game. It's just it's a good game. It's nothing special. It's nothing in it has ever blown my mind. I think I'd like Gunfire more if like there was a little bit more variety in the bosses and if the bosses actually had any kind of real difficulty to them. <laughs> Your eye, like, gunfire is is the exact example of a roguelike where your gear matters so much more than your skill in every single case, which is fine, but I lose a lot of interest in those a lot faster, and they become less memorable to me when there's almost no skill involved, and at the end of the day, uh, I don't clock that bosses have moves because most of the time I would have reset the game because I didn't have a good first item. Isaac? Oh, yeah, Isaac's like the guiltiest of that ever. Fucking hell. I like uh, Binding of Isaac. As a matter of fact, it's one of my most played games of all time, probably. But, I mean, let's all be honest. You get to that treasure room on level one of the cellar. And if you see a floating bean on that pedestal, you hold R. You hold R and you loop back around. Like, it's truly hold R until you see a treasure room that's immediately adjacent to your spawn room. Walk in it, and then see if you have a good item today. Like, the, like truly, at what point does, like, do the devs just add, like, is there a mod that gives you a pool of good items for your first treasure room? Because it's just about the only way you could get me back in that game. <laughs> It's just about the only way you could get me back. Yes, actually. Huh. That's cool. I'll look that up. Just stopped playing Tainted Lost. I fell off of the newest update or expansion of Binding of Isaac long before I accessed any of the Tainted characters. I just stopped caring. And I don't even think it was the expansion's fault more so than it was just like, I've played so much of that game that I've had enough. Like, I had enough. I didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> I finally reached the point where I have had my fill truly forever. Yeah, when's the Roblox stream? Ah, uh, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, besides, I already did one.
I already did it, man. The question is, when are all of you going to forget that I played Cruelty Squad so I can play it again and pretend I haven't played it before? When's that going to happen? Huh? Ex that's the spirit. <laughs> there will absolutely be a day where I rerun doing Cruelty Squad. Because I bet I could beat it all in one sitting. I bet at this point I could beat it all in one sitting. The whole game. Prove it. It'd be easy. It's not that long of a game. You just get Grapendix and then you uh, win. You get a Grapendix, you save up all your money. Chat, here's the thing. There is a, and I, and I hate that I clocked this, but I know it's the intent of the game. There is a level in Cruelty Squad where once you beat it, one of the stocks in the stock market goes up infinitely forever until you beat the next level. You don't have to care about money ever again after the third level of the game. <laughs> you just invest in like games games or some shit and then fuck off for like an hour and get dinner and then come back to $10 billion and then sell it all and then never care about money again. Hell, if I was going to play Cruelty Squad again, I'd probably do a challenge where I don't use the stock market. <laughs> where I have to use fish. Like, I can't use any of the actual, like, businesses. I have to use, like, fish and organs instead. Are you going to play the new game the Cruelty Squad devs make? If it's good. It's called Benevolence Team. That's not true. Looks like hot garbage, but Cruelty Squad looked like shit too. Look it up. You're telling me... When I look it up, I get a lot of stuff about churches. Christian Reformed Churches and Benevolence Ministry. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to find what you're talking about. What a buffoon he actually looked it up. Ban that person for fucking life and then ban him again. Double life in prison. I know they are making a new game, but I don't like follow devs on Twitter and shit. So usually people from chat and discord are my news outlets at this point. Because I know they'll never shut the fuck up whenever there's something new and notable to talk about. Ever. They'll never stop. When's the 100% speedrun tomato? 100% in Cruelty Squad is not easy. Like, that, there's a lot of... Chat, one of the best things about Cruelty Squad is that there's like a million secrets. Like, that game is, like, fucking actually, like, stuffed with secrets. That's a lot of stuff to do. But I still don't think it would take that long. You just have to, like, chart out a path. It took me 34 hours to 100%. It didn't take me that long to uh, do what I would assume was most of the content. I don't think. Can you make astronauts hurry up development? I don't think, and I don't want to be mean because sometimes devs do like hear me talk shit about them on stream. But I think astronauts deserve to get a little kick in the ass for this. I don't think that you can, I don't think any amount of speed up, sped up development is going to save that fucking game. Uh, that game seems to have some fundamental issues that I don't know can ever be fixed. I, I worry for astronauts, which is a shame because Neo Scavenger is one of my favorites. But I have deep concern for astronauts. 
That's why I've never streamed it, despite it being out on Steam for like years now. Astra nuts more like. Woo! Now that's exactly the kind of, now that's the exact kind of gumption we need on this channel. You're getting a promotion. You're getting a promotion. What kind of promotion? A small one that's unnoticeable by the public. Yeah, I won't look up if there's any new decent Neo Scavenger mods. Because I last time I played it was like a year ago. No. <laughs> the answer is the resounding no. The answer is there has not been any new even updates to the mods I used since... 2020, I am the last Neo Scavenger. I was the last Neo Scavenger. Neo Scavenger Extended got a big update. Oh yeah, when was it? Because it says here, Extended Neo Scav has now an update since the 17th of May 2020, and I can tell you one thing. I definitely played it after the 17th of May 2020. I must have. There's no way I played it er like later, like earlier than that. Maybe. I mean, there's a VOD channel. You can check for me. But I get the weird feeling I didn't, uh, I didn't miss that update. It's only been two years. Yeah. It's only been eight years since the last New York Scavenger stream. What a shame. What a shame. Don't oh, really, guys. One day, people... All we have to do is get down on our knees and pray for good mods to come out for games that don't have any mod support. That's all we have to do. Is freaking get on our knees and pray to God. You know? I want to get into the video game. I think. I think I, I, think I want to get into the video game because I'm going to get... I, I got to start getting warmed up, chat. This is a game where I'm going to get owned. You video games. Short intro. I have D and D at 6 p.m. Unless every member of the fucking party like gets like a horrible, horrible disease and can't make it. Okay. All right. Now, to my knowledge, we're already gonna be down one party member. So really, all it takes is one disease to, to, to shut down Friday. But so help me God, it's not gonna be me. So help me God, it ain't gonna be me that gets the disease. We're only one away. Tomato would be a D&D all alone if they all got sick. Hey, I mean, like, dude, imagine the power in my hands if Joe was forced to DM just me for an entire session as all the other party members were absent. Imagine how much I could get done without all the other voices. <laughs> imagine how much, why we might even be able to finish the campaign in one sitting. Cut out all this RP. Let's get this shit the fuck out of here. We don't need any of this. Get this out of here.
I'll play all the characters. <laughs> I can. I know all their moves. I know their abilities. Uh, I'll just play them. Literally skipping the cutscenes. Skip. We we don't care about this. See what's nice about playing, at the very least, Willoughby is that my character has such a low charisma and such a low fucking interest in people like actually thinking he's nice that I do skip cutscenes for our party. <laughs> I and I will and I'll fucking do it again. I've actively cut off bards as they've tried to tell stories. We don't need context. All right, we're gonna get into the game. We are gonna get into the game. I do wanna, I do want to actually game. So we're getting in. Uh, okay. Time for some good ass fighting. <laughs> you think it's gonna be good fighting? That is funny. That is funny. The demons believe in changes. While the Golden City residents pursue eternity. The conflicts between these two parties have never come to an end, but they do have a shared desire, the souls of humans. You are one of the demon's children, loyal servants whose, per whose only purpose is to collect souls for the demon. And you are now in a country called Fanel. A prince was defeated here in the political conflicts. He has already given up the fight and found his inner peace. But you managed to inflame him to ignite the war of this country once more. Start a war in peacetime and harvest those souls during the chaos. Then offer th these people some necessary guidance afterwards. You've been manipulating the cycle of human history since the very beginning. With your assistance, the prince's army advanced and triumphed and recaptured the city of Lynched, which really meant a lot to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's having a good day. He captured the city of Lentz, which was very cool, and he had a, he was very happy and pleased about that. Because all coronations of Fabru happen in the Grand Cathedral of Lentz. You proposed to start the coronation ceremony right away. Almost everyone was against this proposition, though. The enemies were crowding Lentz, and rumor had it that some assassins were invading the city. But the prince has fallen into frenzy, well, because of you. The coronation ceremony was held as planned. The prince knelt by the altar, but the Pope was nowhere to be found. You told the prince to say a special prayer to summon an angel to make him the real crowned king. The prince was exhilarated by all sorts of emotions. The humiliation from the past, the glory at the moment, and the expectations for the future. His soul has reached his optimal state, which has the essential material to summon the demon. As the prince finished the last word of his prayer, the demon formed inside him. The demon was so close to bursting out from the prince's body, and right after that, the souls of everyone inside Lentz, as well as the enemies outside the city, would be sacrificed to him. Damn, I am- my guy is a fucking psycho, what the heck? My character is not a good person. Suddenly, several assassins came out of hiding and fucking stabbed him. Oh. Average Counts campaign. <laughs> Dude, average L for the Counts. Can't win. Common L. The demon was also severely injured when they too got stabbed. 
You should you didn't panic not even facing such a chaotic situation on the contrary You put up a barrier quickly to contain the wounded demon as a matter of fact You were not surprised to see the assassins at all. You were fully aware of every move They took your evocation actually matched their actions just to seize the very moment where the demon could be hurt That's right You have betrayed the demon a long time ago. Okay. I mean they're, they're really pumping a lot of lore into the like I haven't gotten my menu of the game yet The demon sensed your hostility and used his remaining strength to create a shield for protection To breach the shield you needed to absorb enough powerful human souls You were not good at combats We're not good at combats But could only build an army of the living dead with bones and flesh To engage in battles and explore lands. You have made lots of preparations to kill a demon. During years of waiting, you have secretly collected so many souls. You also have got enough power to trap this demon for a long time. But your active time is limited. It's time to raise some hell. Okay, well, we got there. A new game. Yeah, this game doesn't need a plot, but it had one. Hey, we get to chat. That's cool, though. That is cool, though. It, it, it's epic. You guys don't understand. It's epic. You look filthy. Yeah, I'm a little nasty. My, I mean, my character's covered in grime and filth from betraying the Demon King, chat. Of course. As you fucking know, my character is a nasty, like, demon. Okay? We go to the next room in the dungeon, the side nave. Decay, 20%. A creature! So this is a tutorial of the game. So basically, this game has a bunch of darkest dungeon aspects and management on the outside, but on the inside, it is a side-scrolling, Soul Calibur-esque fighting game. Uh, with parrying mechanics similar to Sekiro. With also Pokemon construction <laughs> and backbreaking. It's a lot. All right, just bear with me here. We gotta get to our. I actually missed. Hang on. I'm just gonna step him into the corner so I can't miss another swing. We do not wanna miss in this game. It's very bad if you miss. I'm gonna push him into the. Dodging, triangle, backwards dash, X. <laughs> Once we get into the real things, I'll have Katie run uh, gambling for them, so people will actually be able to do the bets, because these are going to become very intense fights very quickly. Get close to your opponent to roll past them and strike from behind. <laughs> Mrs. Mean Morale damage. <laughs> no, 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 we're going to be fine. Imperfect parries avoid physical damage, but can't prevent balance damage. Okay, that that was an intended imperfect parry. That was a perfect parry by accident. That was an intended imperfect parry. Parrying at the right time will trigger a perfect parry. A perfect parry throws the opponent off balance instead of the corpse. Okay. I fucked that one up instantly. That was a perfect one. Also perfect. Yeah, I fucking know how to fight as a superior knight. All right. I know how to fight as a superior knight. The stab is difficult to parry, but can be avoided completely by dodging or rolling. Well, I want to learn how to parry it. Okay, hang on. That wasn't the right input. Okay, hang on. I, it says difficult. It doesn't say impossible. Okay, I think I'm parrying too early. There it fucking is. Yeah, I know how to parry this too. <laughs> yeah, what can... Ow! Ah, ow! Ah! Ow! All right, relax. Dodged it. Dodged it. Ah! I got too far away to. I'm too far away to roll. Ow! Dodged. Rolled. Rolled. Dodged. World. Yeah, we're getting there. All right, we've gotten to the tutorial. Consume soul crystals to perform a soul strike. The soul strike has cooldown. All right, man. Get ready to receive my ultimate attack. 
That didn't do much damage. All right, we're, we're, we just have to kill him now. Eh, it's just a, okay, he dodged, he's dodging every swing I do. He's, this guy's really out. All right, that's it, soul strike, ha! Oh. One more of those and you're as good as dead, Night Sword. You're really, you know, you're just lucky that my sword is really short and I can't fucking reach you. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Ow. Ow, fuck. Stop. Dude. Oh. Oh. Ow. What, my guy's first attack sucks. Ow. I gotta build the combo. What? Huh? That's it. That's it. We're gonna have to break his posture. It's the only way. Eh. Eh. Oh! oh! <laughs> I actually missed the first swing, man. That's fine. We're bones now. I actually missed the counter. So now at the end of every fight, you get to change a part of your character's combos if you want. There's only one combo in the game. There's just attack, 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 attack. Uh, and it goes in a sequence. So this is me changing the first move in my combo if I want. My first move fucking sucks. So we're gonna switch to the spin one because it might be better. Because <laughs> it's a medium distance. We're getting rid of that. We got some flesh, which can be used in corpse construction and filling. Put that over there. Uh, we got one rupee. Uh, we have uh, five health potions. And we have two bones and one skull. Very good. Damn. Well, that was a lot. That was a... That was a, a frightening battle. The character blends too much in the background. It bothers me. Was it too much to ask to give the palette a splash of color? I think you might be partially colorblind, my guy. I'm not having any problems with it, and I am colorblind partially as well. Maybe you got some kind of weird colorblindness. Maybe you're a mild Dutton or something, unlike me. Like, you can turn up the saturation. Does making it more colorful help people? How's that? That's it a little bit uh, more colorful. I thought it was fine. But... I mean, if people are having problems, I can turn up the... Uh, the saturation. I like it here. Okay, so, okay, so this guy, so we actually have to fight this one. This is a real enemy. That we're kind of done with the tutorial. We have other characters, but I'd have to, I'd have to put them in on the front of the battle team. Ah, 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 ah. Eh. We need to slow down. We just have to, we just have to slow down. Slow down and focus. Now you're fucking dead. Ah! Okay, the spin attack is really slow. Oh! Getting pushed to the edge, Knight Sword. Running out of places to run, Night Sword! Ha! We're not gonna start doing any gambling until we get into the actual dungeons. These are just tutorials. But we did, we, we turned that guy to goo. All right, so this is my third attack in the combo. <laughs> we just spam spin move? Cause like, this move's cool and all, what if we just spam spin move? 
All right, we got two meat, one rupee, two more bones, four more blood, one more skull. So for the record, bones and skulls are the components you need when you kill an enemy to turn that enemy into a fighter for yourself to bring into another dungeon. Just for context, that's how the game works. So you can't have a fighter in the dungeon unless you've collected their bones and skulls and constructed them. A chest. What kinds of treasures are inside of this? You can use a key to open the chest and get all the items inside. If you don't have a key right now, you can also open it by force, but you'll get fewer options. I can, I'll force it open. Gold and two preservatives. Okay. That's cool. So we can blink if we press L2 and R2 to teleport across the map faster. Ah, yes, the ossuary. What the fuck? What the fuck? Your corpses will decay at the end of each run. When decay exceeds 100%, the corpse will disintegrate permanently. Well, uh, my cool hammer guy and my cool, uh, looked like an assassin are gone. And it looks like my superior knight is about to go as well. What the fuck? They were just, they were totally functional bodies like 15 seconds ago. Well, whatever. I got these 14 days left. Until, uh... Until what? Until what, motherfucker? <laughs> until what? God is coming in 14 days. So these are all stations for like management of my base. I don't have any of them unlocked yet. I have to progress a little more with the tutorials first. Construct corpse. So chat, we have enough bones here to make a superior knight ax. We've got everything we need to make this guy. So we're gonna construct him, put him in a coffin. And we can also make a bandit with a light armor, right? Uh, an axe and a shield. So I'll make them as well. It gives us two bodies. Are we gonna manage them? Applying preservative can reduce a, or a, can reduce the increase in decay after the end of each run. The preservative can be applied multiple times, but loses half its potency each time. All right. I'm not gonna apply any yet because decay increases depending on the map we're going to. So it's not something I'm gonna do until I know where we're going. So there's bone injuries. These actually, I think bone injuries, like uh, if you injure your character's bones, they take a percentage of increased damage until you clean and fix their bones. So bones are a problem. Don't ask me about flesh filling. Uh, equipment, we get gear. Uh, based on the character, so there's a necklace over here. When using the attack acton, medium speed start. When the opponent has performed a perfect parry, the increase of your imbalance value minus 31. Some of these are very specific items. Like, that is an extremely specific item. But we can build around it if we have the right move set on our character. So we want... We want medium speed starts on this guy, if we can help it. You need to take at least one corpse in a run and three at most. Okay, so I've selected both the superior knight, axe, and bandit. Hang on, I'm also going to check the attack actions. When a corpse is constructed, it will get three attack actions randomly. These actions will always be performed in order from one to three. All right. And then here's, uh, if a corpse continues attacking after the third attack action, the corpse may be able to perform an inspiration strike. Inspiration strike is often more powerful than a normal attack. That was that blue move you saw me doing. So those are also random selected. Consume soul crystals to perform a soul strike. So this is a roguelike fighting game, essentially. With randomly generated movesets based off of these characters. Neat. 
it's a it's a neat game. My guy has a medium speed start opening attack, so that works with the necklace I got him. Not bad. Not bad at all. We can also salvage them and take their bones and meat back. Yeah, it's very god hand, and that's why I like it. It's uh it's got a lot of god handisms in it. So we're gonna go to the side nave, which means I'm going to be putting some preservatives on my boys. Don't want them to get all nasty. We kind of want to keep them. So we're gonna try to raise their decay resistance to 24%, because we're going into a 20% zone. God hand meets darkest dungeon seems like basically. We're going back to the side nave. Our opponents are gonna be superior knights. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of superior knights and knights. Uh, equipment that we might get, a rare ring. And it actually, it like gives you a lot of insight on what you're gonna get from each place because you have finite time before the end of the game. But we only know about these guys and who we're gonna see because we've cleared this area before. But yeah, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna pack up my soul crystals. Pack four of them. I'll pack a pickaxe and three. I'll pack everything. Let's go. All right. Mods, we will do match by match for now. We'll do match by match for the, uh, for the gambling, for the channel points. I don't want to go too far, too far forward because I'm almost positive there's a person. Yeah, you should start starting them now, basically, because there's going to be three or four per fight, like, per zone. And these are not easy fights. It's, these could be, like, long, drawn-out things. If it ends up being a thing where we're cutting through them really fast, we might do, like, floor-wide. But I think we can do per for now. Actually, you know what? Uh, to make it easier, I don't think it'll affect people's gambling decision. Uh, or maybe it will. No, we'll, we'll do the first fight like this afterwards. If it seems like we're cutting through it very quickly, we'll, um, we'll probably do per floor. Just so mods don't have to make 30,000 cycles of this. Because there are like four fights per level. We'll probably, after this one, do it per uh, floor. All right. It's time. We're gonna be going in with Superior Knight Axe. He's one of our- he is our most powerful warrior. Alright? He should have no problem dispatching the creature ahead. Come. Okay, there's no creature in this room, which means it's in the next room. Hello? This guy's gonna die. I'm not gonna fucking die. Check this out. <laughs> I already memorized. Oh, that's actually the strongest knight on the floor. Yeah, that's the superior one. I mean, we did know this was gonna happen, but that is the strongest. That's like the boss. It's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Look at ours. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he used the soul strike. You! Oh! Parried it! Oh! Okay, this fight started off a little fast. <laughs> My bones! My bones are shattered! They're shattered! When imbalance value is full, the corpse will be stunned. I'm not stunned! Ow! Ow! No, you're fucking dead. Oh! Relax. Oh! Oh! Ow! Got him in the corner. Oh! Yeah, you're fucking. Oh shit. Rotate, 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 rotate! 
stab. Dude, I was backstepping. I was backstepping. I was. <laughs> Relax, man. I gotta get around him. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Please! My fucking bones, man! You have to die. <laughs> no! There will be chances to wake up directly after being stunned. Whoa! Dude, doubters got actually fucking owned right there. <laughs> Damn, doubters. You guys look like, uh, look like fools right now. What the heck? Plot armor. Well, you should have taken into account that another tutorial could have popped up. I didn't know. All right. The new predictions we're going to do are by floor, and we're going to start here. Okay, we're going to go by floor, so it doesn't end until I'm back at the ossuary. Okay. That's how it's gonna be from now on. That was fucked up. The game is fucking fun though, chat. That was like intense as hell. It's very fun. But yeah, we're gonna run it by floor so the mods have a little less work to do because otherwise Katie's gonna be fucking doing this the entire stream. Ugh. All right, let's start moving. Wait a minute. I don't, <laughs> this guy's gonna fucking die. We need to switch to the bandit. We're gonna switch to this idiot. Wait, what are his moves? Fuck, what are his moves? X, 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 big X, and his Okay, this is a long distance jump slam move that can't be interrupted 50% of the time. Good to know. These guys are way weaker. Wait, that's my guy. Ow! 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 I don't know his moves! Dude, relax! Now you're... Now, oh, you think I could... You didn't think I could fucking parry the stab, fucker? Yeah! Yeah, right! Yeah, right! You're fucking dead now, mother- Ow! 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 Oh! Yes! Oh! Yeah, that worked. We got the inspiration attack. Shield guy seems better than the other one. <laughs> what is this kick? This isn't gonna help me. This feels like the worst thing I could add to my character's rotation. But I mean, it's kind of badass. Okay, well we got a lot of bones and some Eye eyeballs can reveal hidden information when scouting the areas in the ossuary. That's pretty cool. Look, we just need to walk out with enough bones of Polax Knights to remake my Polax Knight, because he's not going to make it out of this place alive, I don't think. We still have two more fights. Chat. We still have at least two more. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Here we fucking go again. <laughs> The thing is, though, I'm getting more powerful every day. Oh, the kick! He almost got the kick off. Oh, the kick to the fucking face! The kick again! 
Yeah, man, what's up? Dodged. Ow. So you can cancel animations with the parry, at least with shield guy, which is good to know. I'm just not very good at I'm just not very fucking good at it. Dude, it's just spamming moves. Oh, oh. Fucking, why don't you just, oh, just, oh, really? Oh. Dude should be dead. Dude should be dead. This guy should be dead. This guy should be dead. No. Oh. Oh. Fuck you, man! Yeah, nice. I got him. Yeah, we're gonna be fine, guys. <laughs> the kick's cool. I'm gonna take the smack, though, because the kick really felt like it was putting me in a lot of danger. When exploring an area, you can teleport back to the ossuary. If you teleport not... If you teleport not during the battle, only a small amount of the items will be lost. You can also teleport during the battle, however, you will lose most of the items. Chat, I'm, I did not even know this was a thing, but I'm going to rule it that if I leave with teleportation, uh, I lost. I lost, I get to keep my guys, but I lost. And, um, I'm looking at the spread here of HP between these two. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm not feeling good <laughs> about, um, their chances. This might be a take the L situation. Cause, um, they'll get to keep their moves. They'll get to keep my, I'll get to keep some of this meat and bones. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I'm sorry, but I have to go home. My mom is calling me. We leveled up! You see, that's why we would have lost him otherwise. Kill enemies to gain XP and level up. The higher level, the more items you can equip. And the corpse's level will also influence the star level of new attack actions. Very cool. We both leveled up to two. We got to keep all the meat and bones. Thirteen days left. Okay, so they healed a little. Can I construct any new... When a bone injury reaches four, the corpse takes 20% additional damage when hit. The highest level is seven. 25% probability that the corpse will be defeated when hit? Okay, well, the superior knight axe has a bone injury of uh, two. And uh, it would subtract four of my bone dust to cure it. We're just going to let that get out of there. The corpse in the coffin will gain 15% HP per day. You can also add flesh directly. Each piece of flesh restores 25% HP. Chat, you need to relax. You need to relax now. There was a misclick. Relax. Remember, your points don't really mean anything. You're getting mad about Monopoly money. Just remember that. Remember, Katie will take your toys away. Just remember that when you all caps at them. And then you'll have nothing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna heal both of them. I don't think I have time to be dilly-dallying, so I'm gonna heal them both to that much, and then they'll regenerate the last part when I rest. I'm gonna spend one day resting. I think we spend one day resting. I didn't get any gear out because I fucking died. Forging table's not available yet. Blood altar's not available yet. I don't think I unlock any of these until I beat a level. Oh wait, we have the skeleton table now. Skeletons are necessary materials for constructing corpses, but a skeleton cannot be obtained directly. Build a skeleton with five pieces of bones. Okay. 
Well, I have enough bones to make a superior night bone. All right, I've made a skeleton of them. I also have enough bones to make a normal knight sword. Okay, I've got their skeleton. Okay, we got a lot of other garbage. I can grind them to bone dust if I want. We already have one of both of these now. I'm gonna turn them to bone dust so I can uh, recover the bone injuries of my poor boys. Now, can I construct another guy? Superior Knight Sword looks cool. I don't have enough flesh. I don't have enough flesh. Bonfire? Each skeleton has a number of abilities that can be activated by adding the corresponding materials. The number of abilities can be activated depends on the depth of memories of bones. You can permanently increase the depth of memories of bones by throwing skulls into the bonfire. I just turned all of my bone skulls into dust, so we can't do that. I'm gonna rest a day so my guys can heal. I really got owned off of that one. Okay. 12 days are left until God is here. Okay, Chet. We are gonna select the boys. Oh, we unlocked everything else now. Uh, pouring blood to the blood altar will permanently increase the initial resources for each round. Okay. Um, preservatives for starters, level that up. Give me some of those. More meat. This is how much we'll start with in a new game, I think. I want to start with more meat. And I also want to start, increase your active days? I would need demon soul crystals for that. So I don't think we're getting that. I mean, I, I, I'd like more bones. Every time tomato says bones, my arthritis gets worse. I can't help you with that, man. The Stabilizer, Superior Knight Axe, most engaged in exploration. What is all this? Are these like, huh, I don't know what all that is. Forging table. Okay, so I can forge, consume iron to change equipment skill, but it will not change equipment quality. More iron will be consumed each time you recast the equipment. Consume gold to improve the equipment quality, but it will not change equipment skill. And I can salvage. And I'm gonna spend gold to improve the quality of this because it already kind of works. When using attack action, medium speed start when the opponent has performed a perfect parry. The increase of your imbalance value is minus 38. That's actually pretty fucking good uh, for my character. My hammer guy got a uh, parry, or my uh, polearm guy got parried about 30 times. Uh, all right. We need to add preservatives still, but we're going to go to the prison because uh, I don't want to go back to the, the side nave. I don't think. We're get, we gotta preserve these boys. Still. I only have one preservative left. There's no way Superior Axe Knight isn't technically the better character. <laughs> They're gonna decay! They're gonna decay! There's no such thing as a place that isn't at least plus 20% decay. Alright, we're going here. Bandit leader, jailer, prisoner, prisoner. We can start the gambling now. We're gonna be going to the prison. I'm glad it, sh it shows you everything that's coming up in the zone, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we know these two are gonna be fucking pushovers. This fucking weirdo is gonna be a problem, and that guy is insane. I we keep getting front-loaded dungeons, which yeah, is the problem. A lot of other people would, uh, I, I don't know, there's just something off about that. We get a lot of, we get a lot of front-loaded dungeons so far. But, I'm gonna start prep. <laughs> we, have, we don't even have 
soul crystals. Dude, I've been using those soul moves way too much. I just clocked them as like, yeah, we'll get like AAs every dungeon. I haven't seen another one. I don't have my alts. I don't have alts anymore. All right, I'm embarking. I'm not even sure if I need those keys. No, that's definitely treasure. <laughs> Whoa, that guy, this guy got fucked up. Oh, actually pretty much everyone here got fucked up. Now I'm looking at it. It's mostly all of them. All right, focus up, focus up, focus up. We're leading with superior knight axe. He's got the moves to get the job done. Oh, 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 it's not front loaded, it's not random. Oh, Jesus! An imperfect parry when torn will also cause flesh damage? Chat, when did my guy get torn? When did my guy get torn? Like two combats ago, he got torn? His bones are torn? I mean, I knew his bones were shattered. I didn't know about the torn. Fine. I'll be fine. Oh! Oh! I actually will be fine. Holy shit, I'm fucking rocking this guy. Ow. Oh! Okay, that was not bad. That was a skeleton. It, I should have known it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, so this would be swapping out my soul move, which doesn't really matter, but this one is just flat out more damage, and I would never use a soul move unless someone had a, their, like, stagger. So I guess I'll take the stronger one. Oh! Soul crystal. That's gonna give us a chance of surviving. Maybe. That's gonna give us a fighting chance another undead guy. I'm gonna switch to the bandit for now and try to save the superior knight axe for the, like, heavy boy that's coming up. Ha! Dodged. Pa parried. This guy doesn't know how to fucking block. Okay. Okay. My bones are shattered. I got an update. My bones are fucking shattered. Oh! I didn't hear no bell. I didn't hear no fucking bell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. These guys are easy. All right. These skeletons don't know how to block. Those are, those guys are fine. <laughs> this, kid, this is the dumbest looking move I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> What about this one? That's, I just prefer the, I prefer the shield. It was, mm. But the thing is, this one, it has more reach. I'm keep, I'm taking it. It has more reach. We keep moving. Okay, we're gonna lead with shield guy because I'm gonna try to save. Okay, this guy is fucking cracked. How fast is that swing? Oh, Christ almighty! <laughs> Relax. I kick. I haven't gotten a hit on him yet, dude! Oh, he parried my ult! Dude. I'm not- I ain't so sure about this guy! Swap. Ow, swap. Ow. Oh, Christ almighty. <laughs> oh. Let's slow this down for a second. Give up the fight, neutralize the current course, and teleport back to the ossuary. Well, I'm not doing that. I just want to, I just want to pause. <laughs> No! He's permanently dead! We're level two bandit! Now you fucked up. Now I gotta pull out my superior knight. 
axe mode. Ow, fuck! Just go! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh. Whoa! You ain't never gonna pull that off again! Not in a million... Not in a million years, brother! Are you gonna get that spin off again? Oh, Christ! Dodged. Please! Please, God! Ow! Please! Why won't you just die? Oh! Oh! That guy's psycho! That guy is psycho! My bones are gone! That guy was insane! But I lived. I need to do medium distance moves. So even though this one's better, medium distance are the ones that we want for my item. So I'm gonna keep this. We got some of his bones. <laughs> I mean, that, that's cool, guys. We're gonna be fine, guys. My guy's bones are gonna be fine. His bones are fine. There's only one more. There's only one more skeleton, and my character's bones are fine. Entry level four. Okay, he's taking 20% more damage every time he gets hit. Well, we got, Chad, Chad, look, I got, I got armor and preservatives. Look, Chad, we got armor. The fucking knight is gonna love that. What is this? The meditation ball can replace one of the attack actions of a corpse. Well, how much of a corpse are we talking here? Because this guy's double dead. Is that two dead? <laughs> I, mean, I guess I'm gonna do this guy. Okay, that's a, that's a better move. Upgrade it. That's better. Okay, this should be another chest. Okay, unlock it as well for three more keys. That's actually really good. We have one more skeleton coming up, but I guess he's after this. Locker of mystery. Items can be placed in the locker of mystery. The items in the locker will be saved and converted to other items of the same value. Huh. When exploring the Inquisition, I have no intentions of exploring the Inquisition. Put it in there. Wait, when did it switch? Convert all- do I have to come back later? <laughs> do I have to return to this dungeon? I'm not doing that, dude. Next time you see one. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I want my resources and I want them now. That is not- Dude, who is that? I, f I thought it was a- Oh, no. I thought it was a skeleton left. But it's this fucking guy. It's the priest. Or the, ja the jailer, I guess, makes more sense in the prison. Dude, I can take him. My guy's really strong. You're fucking dead. What was that purple? Chad, I saw a strange purple. Holy shit, the doubters don't know what just happened. The doubters actually don't know what just happened. I think I crit him. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep my move. Which is actually- Whoa, I got a lot of bones from that guy. Wait, I'm not gonna be able to fit all this stuff. Well... I'd love to make that guy, even though he sucked. Uh... I think I ditched these eyeballs? To get the bones? Yeah, I think I ditch eyeballs to get bones. Okay. Get rid of the chest? No, I, I... Dude, I don't know if there's... If you haven't noticed already, the one thing that I would argue is most important for us in this world right now is getting more clothes on these idiots because they are getting fucking thrashed. 
We're back. We're back. We made it. Areas also have levels. The higher the level, the more powerful the opponents will be and the more the decay increases. At the same time, you'll get more and better items as well. When corpse levels exceeds the area level, the corpse will not be able to gain XP anymore. Okay. That said. Okay, put all that 11 days until God is here. Why? Okay. So I can't make... <laughs> so this guy's dead. No, he's healed. He's still alive. His decay's really high though. I'm gonna construct a skeleton now. I'm gonna make it... <laughs> Look at this guy's abilities. Compact bones. Power surge, resilient heart. Okay. Each skeleton has a number of abilities that can be activated by adding the course. But wait, what? Oh, these are traits I input when I make them. Add bone dust during corpse construction, increasing the maximum bone stress of this corpse by 25%. Power surge. I don't have the resources for this or that or any of those. Well, I mean, bone stress seems like a pretty good fucking deal. I'm going to toss that in. Yeah, let's make this guy. We need a third guy. Okay. Do I still have enough meat to toss both of these guys two heals. Now, I'm going to toss this guy the breastplate. Which is still plus two defense, even though the core adaptation trait isn't going to activate. What are his moves? Really slow. But it looks like he is going to do some damage out there. He'll be all right. He's going to be fine. How are your bones? I need to repair this guy's bones. Okay, he'll heal all the way in one day, which is what I was planning on because I need to rest a day. I'm not going back out there. We're resting at the bookshelf. Then I'll decide where I'm going to go so people can start voting. The amount of flesh salvaged from decomposing corpses will increase will be increased by 20%. Okay. So should I be deco should I be salvaging? What in the hell is going on here? Hero Martial Heavy Armor. All I'd have to do is kill the Marshal and I'd win the whole fucking game. One guy, me versus one guy. We're going to the side nave to fight that guy. It's level three, we're a level below, but that's fine. We can take him. We're going to it. Besides, this is the first run of a roguelike that very clearly needs you to build up a ton of stuff to be good at it. So I'm not really expecting to make it much longer. I'm gonna spend my blood though. I wanna start with a heart every game from now on. I also wanna start with one of those. And I wanna start with one of these. And I'll start with another pickaxe next time as well. Just one guy. It's guys. <laughs> it's just one guy. It's just one person. How bad could it be? Now... Do I, I'm going to put a little bit of decay resistance in for some of these poor bastards, but honestly, I'm not really anticipating any of them to come out. We'll give the, uh, we'll give Katie a minute to do the, uh, Gamba, unless they're, uh, oh, they're there. I don't know if they have, like, gone or something. I'm going to start going to it. I'm not going to start the fight. Am I ever gone? I don't know. People go to the bathroom. People, uh, you people go to the bathroom. Dude, we're gonna get a lot of treasure if we do this right. All right. We are gonna pack our keys? 
Yeah, I guess we'll pack keys. Only two, though. We'll pack two keys. <laughs> I'm not feeling too good about this, but I know that I've defeated worse. I know. I, I know I've beaten harder battles. Okay, I don't think he's in this room. He's in the next one. I won't be- I won't get worried until I see him, you know what I mean? Holy shit, look at the size of his fucking sword. Is he carrying a shield too? Dude, I'm fucking dead. I'm going home. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ain't no way, man. Ain't no fucking way. All right, all right, all right. All right, we're gonna lead with, we're gonna lead with the new boy. Okay, we're gonna lead with the new boy. Let's get in there. Oh! 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 He has so much fucking posture! Oh! My bones! My bones broke just from eating it! My bones! Oh! Oh! Ah! What the fuck? Dude, stop! Oh. Who are you? Ow! <laughs> oh. oh! I need to swap! The bones! The bones! My character broke his arms hitting this guy's shield. He broke his arms, clashing with this man's shield. That's John Corpse Keeper. We are fucking dead. It's over. Oh, oh. That was a superior night. He's gone. Bandit. Give him what for, bandit! Give him what for! Show him you fear! You have no fear! Kick him! Ow! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my bones! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Ooh. I dodged that. No, dude, that was a... Oh! I'm a fucking bandit! Don't do it! This guy is okay. So chat, this was like the this was the wake up call fight where um where we realize that this game does not fuck around and boss characters are boss characters and this is a boss who is way better than me and he knows blood magic. I fought worse. Oh, fucking Christ. Any last words, pussy? Dodged it. Oh! Oh! I just want to break his guard one time, dude. The Soul Strike! I'm gonna go down that easy. Oh fucking Christ, it's over. Dodged it. No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> I just said I dodged it. I didn't dodge shit. Yeah, this guy's uh, blood magic is uh, seriously OP. They need to nerf it. Dude, don't think about what you're fucking doing for a second. Think, hey. Think about what you're fucking doing for a second. Don't fucking do it. Don't follow through. Just don't. Oh! Well, that sucked.
guys. We <laughs> nine days remain. How are my boys doing? Chat. Do I feel like like the tutorial. This is the tutorial game where we started with like weird shit. I think this is a reset. The like restart, right? Like that was a huge L. I think it's a restart situation. Now that we know what we're doing, I think that's the best idea. I'm gonna deconstruct these guys just because I'm curious if they'll give me blood. I don't think they are. The only way I think we could even recover it all is if there's a guy I can construct in. Oh god, there's one knight. <laughs> yeah, I mean we We gotta go in with the one knight. Come on, we gotta. What if this guy's the guy? You know? Chad, it's alright. We're gonna we're gonna go in with the one knight. This one guy's gonna recover. I'm really good at playing this guy. This guy's my best character. I actually main the knight. We're <laughs> we don't need to gamble for this one. <laughs> this, uh, this one's for me. We're gonna go to the graveyard. Actually, you know what? We are gonna gamble. Start the gamble. We're gonna do a gamble. There's a chance this knight survives the graveyard. It's not impossible. We're not going back to the marsh. We're gonna go to level one graveyard. How bad could the graveyard be? We don't even know what's in there. My guy has equipments. It says he can wear more equipments. He, uh, uh, we got to we get to keep the clothes from the guys that die. That makes sense because we technically walked out with it. All right. <laughs> we are fucking really in a lot of trouble, but. I'm not using preservatives because it's not going to fucking matter. This guy's not making it out of the graveyards. We don't even know what's going to be in here. I'm guessing skeletons. Whoa, are you fucking kidding me? Dude! Walking out with five iron bars like it's nothing. All I gotta do is kill whatever creatures are in this shadowy realm. Is that a goddamn bandit? Why is there a bandit? Think I'm scared of you? Dude, stop with the fucking... You knocked that off. Dude, this guy's got a stab. Yo, what the fuck? Oh! Easy. What'd I say I main this guy? What did I fucking say? I main this guy. I main. What's his name? Knight Sword. <laughs> I've been maining this guy since I was five. All right, I know how to play him. Well, I'm not climbing in that. Hang on, I'm gonna. Iron Maiden can recover 60% HP of a corpse, but its bone injury increases by one. I'll come back there if stuff gets bad. I think I can backtrack. <clears throat> Is it just all bandits in this fucking place? This is a graveyard. I'm not gonna complain. This guy's like fucking pathetic. I'm just gonna keep spamming. Take a swing, pussy. You're predictable. You're predictable, you're a fool. Oh! That was actually pretty badass fucking clash, dude. Ah! I missed the first swing, but I got him on the second one. Dude, these bandits are nothing. I'm thrashing these guys. Dude, the doubters are starting to sweat. Doubters are starting to sweat. This dude's pumping. He's, get, he's getting stronger. He's getting more powerful. He's changing. Who's that? Gravekeeper. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's the Gravekeeper. He's the rival of the Corpse Keeper. Wait, hang on. He's kind of a light armor character. I'm gonna keep spamming attacks at him. Wait, I think I got him. All right, I killed him. Dude, Knight Sword is absolutely cracked. What the heck? 
I don't even want this guy's bones. I kind of want his bones. But I don't want to ditch any of this other stuff. Hmm. It's so hard not having inventory space. We really need to, we need to expand that. I brought too many. I keep bringing these pickaxes. But, like, I haven't seen anything that they're used for. Hang on. Uh, well, I need the bones. We need more guys. We're gonna die. I mean, we're gonna lose either way, but it's good practice. Uh, I guess I'll ditch the one blood. No, but we're gonna bump into more blood. Ditch this, like, fucking herb. Ditch the herb. And don't take the skull. Just take the bones. We might come back and, like, change our mind on it. <clears throat> but the herb is to upgrade, like, guys' traits when you construct them. Oh, hang on. This could work. Uh, I deposit into the thing... One heart, one pickaxe, and that's it. It's like a bank. You can't go back in this game. Wow, boy, I got some egg on my face. I'm still gonna leave that stuff in there, cause uh Wait, no, I want the heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. The heart's something I do want. I don't care so much about the pickaxe. That sucks. It makes sense, though. Oh, no. It's a mirror fight against another knight with a sword. That's a superior knight sword. We're fucking dead. That's my dad. Oh. Dad, stop. Now you're fucking dead. I know all your moves. Don't you see? Hey! Dodged. Okay, I didn't do I keep saying I dodged, but I, I didn't. Now you're dead. This guy's nothing. I got him on the ropes. Fucking Christ, ow! You're gonna die, Superior Knight Sword. Don't do that. Roll. Parry. Parry, parry. <laughs> Just keep parrying, man. Eventually he'll stop attacking. He's way too good, man! He's way too- I Dark Souls point down. That's it, I'm taking this one. God damn it. We... We don't need these fucking bones, but I'll tell you what we do need meat. We need meat right now. Dude, no one thought that was gonna fucking happen. No one thought Night Sword was gonna get out of there. They, every one of you, doubt it. We still can't make another guy. <laughs> Got a lot of bones for a lot of different guys, but none of them go together. None of them go together. Not one bone goes with any of the other bones. We gotta pump this guy. <laughs> this guy's all we got. We have to pump him. He gets everything we have. Night Sword is our only character. <laughs> Night Sword, I'm gonna upgrade this armor for you. Wait, does he even wear heavy armor? Surely. Oh, he does. Nice. I want to upgrade his clothes. I want to recast this. If the corpse is in Wild Soul or Wild Soul Deep, 
Magic damage taken minus 21%. That is like, dude, stop giving me shit. I'd like only understand if I was like a, like looking at like the epic legendary, like max level gear in a video game. I don't, I need you to tell me that I get plus one constitution now. Like, I don't know what the fuck this means. I don't need set bonuses. I need like you to tell me I get five more HP. I'm out of iron. <laughs> I can't. I guess. I guess my guy is hanging out at Wild Soul Deep. Now. I guess my guy's hanging out at Wild Soul Deep. Let's spend my blood. I just keep investing. Okay, we need to rest. Is it worth burning things? I want, these aren't like permanent. Oh, these are the other characters. I don't want to spoil all of that yet. All right, we're going to read for a day. Because I need my guy's bone injury to go away. And then we're going to, I guess, bones obtained by killing opponents will be increased by one. There's a week left until God gets here. But it's okay because we're about to pull a lot of bones. Dude, we can't. We can't hang out with this guy. That's the marshal. We're not going there. We could go to the library. Where's, excuse me, where's, uh, excuse me, where's Wild Soul? Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, I'm looking for Wild Soul. If I was going to go somewhere right now as a level two character, I guess I'd go to the Inquisition or the side name. I think I'd go to the, I think I'm going to go to the Inquisition chat. I feel better about fighting a bunch of light armor idiots than I feel about fighting basically mirror matches against characters that are objectively better than me for half of the fight. We're gonna go to the Inquisition level two. Where we're gonna have to kill- Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I just looked at- uh, Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, let's all slow down a second here. Uh, what the fuck is that? Who is that? I don't wanna fight that. That guy looks crazy. That's even worse. Well, it, well, we get a chance to punch down at a nun, which is cool. I don't even think they'll have a weapon. Oh, I'm gonna need- Okay, okay, so this says when I'm gonna need a pickaxe. Okay, I need to start doing that, like, actually paying attention to these events, if I can see them. Because that tells me I need a pickaxe. We're gonna bring all of the soul chart, like, things, I don't care. Let's go. First time believer here. Are you, are you fucking sure? Now, are you, uh, are you sure? Are you sure that's a good idea? Dude, I am so fucking dead. And what I meant to say was you're fucking dead. Court, right? When I thrash you and put you in the fucking ground, I'm going to step over your body and go immediately kill your brother because you guys have the same moves and your moves are weak. They're not even very good. You're dead. Successful attacks of perfect parries can increase combos. Combos will help you deal extra damage. Rolling will clear the combo count. I have no intentions of rolling ever again. Ow! Trying to block, pussy? Trying to, trying to block. Oh. oh, oh, oh! You trying to block or something? Not nice shield, idiot. Yeah, you're gonna die here. Blocked it. Yeah, your god doesn't pierce through the. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Ah, uh, he just summoned God to kill me. Holy damage taken will be increased with the higher degree of decay. <sighs> Don't let him fucking stagger me. You're gonna fucking die here, man! I gotta focus. Dodged it. You think I'm a fool? You think I'm gonna fall for the same thing twice? So this is just a flat out boost of my move. We got, we got, we can actually immediately make him. That like chat, we're not, honestly, there, I know there are believers that want me to kill everyone in this thing. If it comes down to the wire, I'm gonna fucking leave. I'd only lose some stuff because there's a high chance I'll be able to leave with all of my bones. Which means I'll be able to make another character, which gives me a chance of actually, like, surviving longer. Like, just to be clear, there's a chance that happens here if I'm walking out of here with five bones per kill. God, this game fucking slaps, though. Who is this? Oh! Stop! Stop that! Her moves are crazy. This person's crazy. This person's psycho. Oh. They don't have a lot of health. These are so fast! Ah! <laughs> this person is too fast! Oh. Ow. Oh. That person's psycho. My imbalance skill has been wildly buffed. Did not get much bones from them. Uh, chat. I'm gonna check the next room, but my guy only has 42 HP left. I think it's time to fuck off. I think we might have to fuck off. Oh, it's a chest room. Okay, we take this. I never need these fucking pickaxes. It's kind of sad. I need to fuck off. We're gonna- we're gonna take the loss. I need to fuck off and hope that I get to keep my bones. I'm not gonna survive another fight. Yeah, I can't lose this guy. We did get to keep it. Okay. Why do I have less characters to bring in now? <laughs> now, why would it say that to me? I don't have... I thought the skulls counted as... Oh... I could... I, this is a little learning experience. I thought skulls counted as bones for the skeleton. They don't. I'd need one more. You burn the skulls. Yeah, I didn't really clock that. But I guess it's good to know now. I mean... Chat, it's, it's gonna be a loss. It's just a matter of how long this guy lasts before I lose him. You know what I mean? Because we aren't pulling enough. We're pulling enough to keep him in the game. Basically, all on his own. I'm actually just gonna take him right back in again. Restart tutorials over. Yeah, but it's like... We're getting good... We're getting good knowledge out of this. Does that make sense? Like, I'm getting good knowledge out of pushing it more. Which is gonna help me, which is why I don't want to just, like, give up. We're a level three now. I think we're gonna go to the library. We're gonna take a trip to the library. We're not gonna cure my bone injury. Oh, we have to cure the bone injury. 
we're not gonna be going to the library, but we're gonna go somewhere that's realistic for us. Don't worry. So if you voted that I'd make it, we're gonna pick something realistic. I'm not doing anything crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the marshal is so mad. Oh, there's a lot of loot in here. Yeah, I mean, I think I still go to the library. There's legendary pauldrons, which would be really good. Bring every soul crystal. And we don't bring a pickaxe because it doesn't say we're actually going to need one. Let's go. How's the corpse keeping? Wildly fun. This game actually fucking slaps so hard. I love it. I am having a lot of fun. Hello? Who is this? I need to go home. No, 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 this is a learning experience, remember? We're supposed to learn from this. That guy has lightning moves. I don't have those. Don't do that again. Yeah. Lightning can cause paralysis. Okay, I can't perform perfect parries. Bro. Please, dude, dude, fucking please, dude. You're never gonna make it out of here. Oh, okay. just keep dodging. Just keep fucking dodging until the paralysis is gone. Swing at me, pussy. Ow. I'm not gonna lose to this magic knight. I won't fucking allow it. Amp yourself up! Oh, 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 he's spamming! He's fucking spamming! He's doing that thing people do in fighting games, dodging! Oh, Jesus! Ow! Dude, you need to relax. Okay, I'm, I learned what my ability does. You fucking missed, idiot. <laughs> Dude, please, I have to kill you. You don't understand. I gotta kill you. You think I'm just gonna let you push me around all day? I kind of won. This is such a higher damage move. God damn it. <laughs> Chat, we keep going. We have to. We have nothing else. We don't have anything. An altar of combination can connect the corpses with HP greater than 40 in the run and make them share the damage. I don't have... What do you mean multiple corp? What do you mean corpses? I didn't hear no bell. All of his moves are stabs. Is that all you know how to do? Jackass? Stab? It's so brutal because, like, that showed right there. The enemies have different combos from one another. Like, every character has, like, a unique, different combo pool. Like, randomly. So that one just had different stuff going on. I couldn't learn from the last guy. I could only learn, like, a little. We're restarting now. All I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to check if I have any blood to dump. Because I don't want to lose that. Uh... It feels like it'd be good to dump in more bones. Like, start more bones at the start sounds good. More bone dust, an eyeball, and then just get rid of that little extra bit. And then we restart. It's over. We lost. Okay, fresh run. 
We're starting with the Gravekeeper and a Knight Poleaxe. With a 95 and 92 decay, respectively. Hey, that's a little high. I don't even think there's any reason to give you guys any resistance. It looks like you're done. But if we make it through a dungeon and get enough bones... Well, hold up. We got the boys in here. Okay. Let's construct some more guys. Now, we got some extra boys to build over here. We're gonna make both of them. And here's what we're gonna do, all right? We're gonna send in... Superior Knight X with these idiots. I'm not gonna even give them decay resistance. Actually, I'm just gonna send these two in alone. Right now. Well, no, I want this guy to catch XP. <laughs> Their decay is never gonna go down. So they're done no matter what. Let's give this guy two resistance so he doesn't decay too quick. We do need to take these guys out. Where are my options? Side nave versus the usual suspects, prison, library, graveyard, inquisition. I kinda wanna go fuck with the inquisition. What? Well, let's look at the gear. I think gear is the most important if we can see. Don't know. I'd have to use an eyeball to know what's in here. Let's check. Cloak, plus three defense, fearless. If the corpse level is lower than the area level, flesh damage, defense, plus five. That's really good. I want that. We're going to the Inquisition. Apparently we have equipment to equip. We're gonna put it all on the good character. Plus one defense. Okay. I mean, obviously, we're going to send in the idiots first. But we're going to the Inquisition. Wait, was there any events? Okay, we are going to need a mining pick. If you carry a Guardian Stone when teleporting back to the ossuary, fewer items will be lost. We're not going to need to teleport out of this one. This one's going to be a piece of cake. I'm not concerned at all in the slightest. Let's go. I don't need- it's not copium, I don't need any of that. Turn that shit off. We're not gonna need it. It's gonna be fine. Who's opening the fight? Gravekeeper. And what's your deal? He leads with a kick, and then a spin, and then another spin, and then a third spin, and then another- <laughs> This dude's crazy! Alright, this is gonna be fun. And we don't really need to care about him because we're gonna deconstruct him when we get out of here anyways. Open this chest. We already got the loot. We can fucking leave. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, boys! Kick fight. <laughs> Dodge. Okay, this is a much different kind of fight than the last guys. <laughs> woo wee woo wee woo woo wee woo woo wee 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this guy's kind of rad. My dog is barking. Well, we're gonna upgrade the move. We're gonna take the bones. Let's get the hell out of here. He's good. This guy's good. We don't need to check the other guy. We already, uh, we already know what that guy does. All right, let's see how this guy does against a person with a shield. Dude, you gotta not summon God here. Okay, he insta-staggered me completely. I guess that's the difference between, like, heavy armor and light armor. Yeah, block all this, you freaking idiot! This guy is just a relentless psycho, dude. Holy shit! This guy's great. I love this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where are you going? Where I, I said, 
Where you going, man? Block as much as you want, man. See what happens. I'm gonna miss this guy when he decomposes. Holy shit. I'm a really miss Gravekeeper. Maybe we need to go to the graveyard and get Gravekeeper bones. Cause this dude's fucking crazy. Hey, at least we'll be able to get some other bones out of all this. Okay. Okay. Start smashing that fucking square button. Dude, this guy can't do anything. He literally can't survive all of the moves. What will hey what pray tell do you plan on doing? Mother of God! And what, pray tell, are you gonna do when I add even more spins? Uh, let's see, I want the bones so bad that I'm willing to, like, give up other items to extract this guy's bones. Specifically. This is like the ultimate spin-to-win character, I love him. Uh, I don't want to lose this. This cloak is good. That's definitely going on a character. Iron is kind of mess so far. Nah, I just need a lot of it to do anything. I need a lot of it to walk out of here with anything decent. What the hell? Hang on, I got a pickaxe. We gotta mine this. That's a lot of soul crystals. That's huge. All right, we just gotta kill this guy. He's obviously gonna... Ow. He's obviously gonna try to summon God if he's given the chance. Which is why we're not gonna give him the chance. This guy's got some crazy wind-ups, dude. Whoa. I... Ah, ah. Don't you fucking dare try to call God in here, motherfucker, I swear. Ah! Fight on, grave gravekeeper! Dodge it! Oh. Now look what you did. You're making me take out my real character. That was... And you know what, Court Knight? That wasn't even my main. Ow, fuck. Let me tell you something, Court Knight. That wasn't my main. This is my fucking main. Points down. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You don't know anything about fighting. They're gone. R.I.P. In hindsight, I should have only brought one of them. But it's all right. 14 days. We got two weeks until God gets here and kicks my ass. Let's see here. That guy looks awesome. What is, is that just a ripoff of uh, the Abyss Knights from Dark Souls 3? That's totally a ripoff of the, like, the Abyss Knights. Okay, well, uh, it's in our best interest to try to get bones of guys we want to build. 
Uh, the court knight seems to have some crazy fucking moves, and I feel like if I was controlling them, they'd just be better. They... <laughs> It feels like we need to go back to the Inquisition again to get out bones. Does that make sense? It kind of seems like we need to do a bone run on the Inquisition. Yeah, I think that seems like the way it has to go. I think we need to go and get them, the nun as well, would be good. Let's get these two decay resistance. I want to... We can't really do much here. We did get out... Uh, that which we're going to put on this guy. Cool. Alright. I'm not even going to rest a week. We don't need it. So where are we going? Uh, Well, I really want to get out... Yeah, I mean, that's level three. We can't do level three. We really can't. There's just no way. So I guess we're going to the graveyard. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the graveyard. Yeah. Graveyard. Level two. We're gonna get... Holy shit, there's a lot of loot in the graveyard. All right, chat. We're gonna need to bring a, uh... A pickaxe. We don't own one. Whatever. We definitely don't need two of these. I'll take the keys. What's the catch? Yeah, you know there's a catch, right? Uh, we're gonna lead with Superior Knight Axe, because he's the guy with actual... That's at the level of this place. Wait, no, that means we lead with this guy so we can get kills, and then we'll swap him out once he's, like, damaged. <clears throat> Bandit. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's using the kick move! I taught him that move! Yeah, I got reach on you, though, idiot. Oh, Jesus! This guy is, uh, seems like he's, um, countering me. You need to stop. Oh! This dude needs to relax. I need to roll past him. I need to get on the other side of him. He has perfect parried everything I do. This is the, this is what it looks like when a level two tries to fight a level one. All right, this guy's just owning me. It. Oh! This guy has so far not broken this guy's fucking posture. His at first opening attack is so. Sl Matter of fact, all of his attacks are slow. This dude has. Okay, chat. Let me just say is that guy has used a move that is 100% a soul move three times. That overhead shield slam is a soul move. I don't know how he's doing it. That is supposed to be an alt. He's done it over and over again. Yeah, just stay back. It's okay. We're gonna get one kill out of this guy, and then we're gonna swap to our real character. Dude, you need to fucking die. Don't you understand the prophecy? Unlike you, Tomato, he doesn't need soul gems because he has a soul. Holy shit, did you really just fucking say that to me? Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the knight. The good one. Can, like, someone in chat defend me? Please? <laughs> Epic, legendary. Yeah, it's big. Now we just have to leave with it. 
can connect corpses with 40 greater 40 uh with hp greater than 40 in the run and make them share the damage however the total damage taken will be increased by 20 percent. why that math doesn't really seem no wait okay okay the way it's worded kind of confuses me but I, it does uh, it is yeah it's gonna split the damage but then it's gonna increase it by 20 for both 20 percent for both i think overall it'd be less damage on each person but more to I guess total? I, I don't uh, It would make the character you're using tankier at the expense of everyone else taking more damage. It's fine, this guy doesn't fucking need it because this is my main. And I'll tell you one thing, a guy attacking quickly sure does make you feel a lot better. <laughs> my other guy has some really bad moves. This dude is way better. Holy shit, that's the difference. Jesus. Okay, that's the difference between a guy that has incredibly fast moves and a guy that's all slow. Okay, so this is just a better version of the same move. I need to start using my soul moves. Dex meta? It's starting to feel like it. But then again, chat, the marshal didn't have dex. He just kicked my ass. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's a slow move. Ow! Ow! Stop. You're making me angry. Oh, baby! You're fucking dead, motherfucker! Did that guy just toss a stink bomb at me? Did that guy just spike a stinky bomb in my face? A corpse's flesh defense will be temporarily reduced when corroded. You better pray to God you kill me in one hit now that my flesh is weak. He did it again! Keep dodging, pussy! See what happens! Okay, uh, we're here primarily for bones, so I'm gonna ditch the plants well no I, I i want the plants ditch that take the bones i should have used more of the soul things it's just hard to find a window but there's still another fight i believe so oh god it's him <laughs> oh fuck it's him Chad, it's him! Everyone, uh, pay attention! It's him! It's the God Killer! It's the most- it's- it's him! It's John Gravekeeper! Oh, he opened with it! He opened with it! He opened with it! Uh. Oh, he did it again! He's doing it! He's doing it! John, relax. Relax and die. I fucking missed the alt. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm back. 
Everyone stop looking at Joel. You need to look at the screen when I own this guy. He's alive. See this what happens. I'm spamming attacks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spam. I'm spamming. I got him. We got him. What's up, P-boy? Can someone fucking defend me for once from these rascals? For once? Green shrub. It seems like loot is so important that I'm willing to ditch. Uh, these worthless plants. No, I need the plants. Fuck, man. I need more. I ne all right. All of my blood's going in inventory space after this. I've had enough of it. After this, it's all going in inventory space. I pick. I don't have one. I can't even open it. Hey, well, uh, we got a lot of loot. We got, that was a productive day. Any skeletons to make? We can make the bandit, that's good. And we're gonna construct them. Oh, wild soul is this. Add soul crystal during corpse construction. The corpse attacks automatically. Only soul strikes can be in initiated by you. What? All attacks have a 25% chance not to be interrupted. So I surrender this guy to the AI. But... 25% chance that hit all of his attacks go right through people. Well, here's the thing. The bandits kind of the AI for these bandits is kind of cracked. So part of me thinks like it might be good on this guy. The AI for the bandits has been kind of kind of crazy. Fuck it. Make it. Give him a wild soul. Okay. So, um, how's everyone's bones? Not bad enough to care. Repair their flesh to some extent. We have a lot of gear to give to people. And it's mostly going to my good character. When attacked by a dagger. Okay, anti-nave adapt side nave adaption. When exploring the side nave, the chance of waking up immediately from the stun status plus 12%. That's incredibly good. Uh we're also going to put uh I mean this one's gonna make this guy a super tank. It just feels it just feels right. And then we're gonna give this guy the Oh, he's already fully equipped. He needs to level up to have more inventory space. I guess I'll give this guy the shoulder pads. Then. Wait, he's not heavy armor. Okay, well, we're going to give him the necklace. Okay. Blood altar inventory now. Give me more inventory space. And we're honestly, I might even do it again. Chad, I'm not about to rest. We're going back out there. God, God's gonna be here in 13 days. Now, what I'm thinking is that we want to go. Oh God, to the level two graveyard. We need a pickaxe, though. Would it give me a pickaxe? Yes. Okay. We're going to go to this place because it'll give us more bandit bones. It'll give us a lot of bones for things I care about. We're going to bring all the soul crystals. We're going to bring one of those. We're going to bring two keys. 
and we're gonna let this guy go first. He's my gr he's my greatest creation. That guy's my greatest creation. My son. Watch it die instantly. He's not gonna fucking die instantly. He's AI. Now check this one out. Bandit v bandit mirror match. Wait, I'm, I'm still controlling him. Hold up, I'm still in control. Did I fuck up the construction? It used it. Thought it did. You didn't activate it. Oh, well then no biggie. I'll just have to do it myself. This guy's nothing. What's good, idiot? Ooh. Nice combos, pussy. Ow, my fucking bones! I can give it back. I can give back damage. It's fine, this guy needs to get some XP somehow. Killing level twos is the best way to do it. Oh, Jesus Christ! I just fucking hydraulic pressed him. <laughs> I literally hydraulic pressed him into the ground. I smushed him. Let it be known. Still low health? Yeah, but like, now what I do, chat, is watch this. That guy served his purpose. He got some kill- he got kill? He got XP? And who is this? Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Why did I send him? This is my worst character! He's so slow! The only way we win is by perfect parrying every move this guy does. It's the Abyss Watcher! I actually can't re- I couldn't reach him to punish the stun. I literally couldn't reach him to punish the stun. Please, stop this. I'm just a boy. Oh! Hold up, that was kind of good. Now you're fucked, I've built up combos. This, this guy sucks, he needs like combo help. Okay, medium speed start, that's huge, we need that. Okay. We really need a fast opener for this guy. Get some soul crystal. I keep bringing these guardian stones. I have spares and I don't fucking need it. I don't fucking need it. I'm sending this guy in again. He needs to get better. He has to be the fucking quadruple perfect parry, dude. It was foretold. Okay, that fucking hurt, man. Okay, I, I'm not I'm not perfect parrying anymore. This guy just feels like he's playing in slow mo. Get away from me! Get away from me! I killed him. Oh, that was easy. I need more fast start attacks. Uh, we just want the bones. Okay. 
We're putting you two on the bench now. It's time for the main character to play. Okay, that's all of the treasure. God damn. Okay, ditch the iron. Grab the preservatives. Uh, We need armor. Ditch the eye. Grab the armor. We need to start not bringing as many soul crystals because half my guys don't even use them. Uh, get rid of this skull. Grab the ring. Okay. Half my guys don't even use the crystals. All right, this is my main. It's a fucking peacekeeper. I hate peacekeepers. Slash me, law brings. Slash me, law brings at you. Now you're fucking dead. <laughs> His health is gone. Hey man, how you doing? How you doing, idiot? Approach me. Yeah, keep fucking backflipping. Dodge this. Okay, he didn't even bother. I point down. Okay, chat. So that's the example you needed for... Um, yeah, guys can attack really fast, but if the enemy is actually good at blocking and parrying it, um, I just punish him. I punished that guy super hard and just fucking bodied him. Uh, like, that's the thing with the heavy armor guys. They get a, they feel like they're very tanky. Like, that guy was squishy. Uh, this is just a better move. I already have some bones for this guy. I'd like to get more. Uh, ditch the skulls. Is there still more? Oh, fuck. It's him. Random bandit. Dude. Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to the fucking kill zone, dude. I don't know what to tell you. You're fucking... Okay. He's spamming kicks. Dude! <laughs> he only has one axe attack in his combo. <laughs> He's just kicking me. He has one axe attack in his combo. Everything else is a kick. That was his one axe move. And it's a kick. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, I really like my main character. He's very powerful. Uh, this one's so much better. We are rocking out with a lot of bones, Chet. A lot of bones. Level three, level two. The bandit did not level. God, our decay. The fucking decay. But we didn't have much preservative. Okay. We still don't have enough bones to make anyone new. No, don't read. I want to burn some of these skulls. These carry over uh, across the uh, accounts, like across days, I think. So burn that one too. Okay. You can't keep winning forever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. True. Likely true. All right, man. Uh when controlling mag Magic Knight. This is exclusively like a shoulder plate for Magic Knight. Within 20 seconds of combat beginning, starting attack speed plus 17%. Holy shit. Can I get that upgraded with gold? Like immediately? We don't have any gold, dude. It's a damn shame. Let's put this on. So we have a little more defense. No gold this whole run. Uh, you know what? Probably be good to force the game to give me gold at the start of every run. That's probably a good call now. Uh, yeah. I guess let's get back in there. I don't have a reason to 
Wait, we need to we need to actually put preservatives on these guys. I I think I forgot last time, which is why they're so decayed now. We're bumping this guy up to 28. I'd much prefer just other people decay than my main. Bandit AI, I think I fucked up building him, chat, so he's not gonna have bandit AI, but that's fine. Which is why I didn't use any of my things, so that's fine. We didn't lose anything. All right. We are going to go... No fucking way am I going to the... No fucking way am I doing that. Uh... I think we want to do a level... We need... Honestly, we just need stuff that's going to get me more bones for my characters. The graveyard, again, is not ideal. Any good loot? That's legendary shoulder pads from the library. That's a level one library, though. This would give me gold from the side nave. Taking a bunch of big boys down. You know, it makes a lot more sense right now. Don't bring my big guy. Why would I? Let's go to a level two with these two smaller guys. Let's go to the side nave with these two. And it'll give me enough bones to make, like, another actual character. Let's go to a level 2 area. Yeah. That's so many guys, though. Can we get one that's not, like, five guys? The one time I'm a believer. Dude. You're gonna be fine. I'm not even gonna bring the crystal to bring them back, because you're gonna be fine. And Tony, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you. Awfully kind, man. I don't have any keys anymore, but I can still force it open and get crystals. Okay, we're skipping that too. And another chest. They're really front-loading this dungeon. I don't have any keys, so, um... <laughs> Alright, asshole, you're gonna see the new me that has stab moves. Dude, okay, that was actually pretty good. Dude, this guy's getting a lot of his inspiration moves early. Holy shit. Yo, hold up. Maybe we didn't believe in this guy enough. Maybe we should be believing in Knight Polax. What the fuck? This is how Knight Polax gets actual moves, chat is by killing guys in this zone. Fucking didn't even block the first move. Huge mistake. You're as good as dead, man. You're, I, like I said, you're as good at, did he just use the, oh yeah, that, when they amp up like that, that's them regenerating their stagger. I have that move as well. He just sidestepped three moves of mine in a row. Dodging might be a lot better than I thought it was. Ow! I need to like... I gotta use this move on cooldown so I can get rid of stagger so I don't get fucking owned. I think you have to like hold it. I'm not sure. All right, man. Oh! Ow! Ow! Night Polax! His bones are breaking. This dude is perfect parrying everything I do. Yeah, how did he get so powerful so quickly? What change? What change? My bone broke. My bones. <laughs> My fucking bone. No. This isn't how I fall. That's a level two knight. My bones broke again. 
Nightpole X, you are not dying like this, man! This is the second guy. Which means there's two more guys. He's getting level three moves before my main gets them. Okay, it's bandit level one time. <laughs> this guy's fucked. Bandit, I forgot bandit's level one. But we have a lot of crystals to use on him. Oh fuck. Ow, ow. All right, pussy. Get ready to catch. Get ready to catch these fucking hands. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, did I not see his fucking health bar move despite making full contact with the slam? Chad, I didn't see his health bar fucking move. Ah! He cut my face off! Oh! All right, Night Polax. Show him the undisputable strength of a thousand. Okay, we're fucking going home. I'm, I'm deconstructing you two idiots. Just so you know. You're going, you're going into the grinder. I'm salvaging you. Get lost. Awful character. Awful characters, not a much unlike Superior Knight X. All right, we're gonna have to send Superior Knight X into something, uh, it is something daring. Hmm. All right, Superior Knight X. Here's the thing. Don't read. Don't do that. How's your pre How's the preservatives? He will be all right. Did that delete their armor? No, it doesn't delete their armor. Now, let's see. If we go to the level three Inquisition. I don't want to go to level three Inquisition. What am I, crazy? What's their loot looking like? We're going here. We're going to the graveyard level two. I don't care if it's above my level. I don't care if I'm going to be punching down. They punched down first. This one. They punched down first. Pack a stack. And pack that. We're getting even. Yeah, that's right. Is that... Oh, these are coffins. I can't do anything about them. I don't have a pickaxe. Just still no keys. Okay, have a key now. That's cool. I'm not gonna approach and start the fight until voting's done. I won't fucking do it. You, you people aren't gonna get off that easy. Not in a million years. Dude, I love the combos on my character. This dude swings so fucking fast for a poleaxe. Holy shit. You tried to break my bones, huh? Pathetic. You're pathetic. Nah, the rotation's so good. But then again, that's a two. No, I like the I like this one. Did I just like put stuff in there? Yeah. This game is so cool. This game slaps hard. Oh fuck, it's him. Oh! 
I gotta stay on him like glue. Oh, Christ. Do something, pussy. Some of his moves look like they're attacks, but they're not. Okay, I just fucking thrashed him with that. That move is fucking crazy. It's a good thing it doesn't do much damage against how much armor I have at this point. Like, I've got a lot of gear nullifying damage for me. Which is why I'm not dying. Uh... And we just got an upgrade to it, dude. Okay, the move, my super move has gotten even stronger. Yeah, I don't own a pickaxe. Dude, <laughs> I'm just, there's so many events happening that I can't do anything about. Huh? Oh Christ, it's him. The, the doctor. We didn't really get to see many of this guy's moves last time because I killed him too fast. Maybe that'll be different this time. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be different. This one's like actually somewhat skilled. Oh, I do, my follow-ups are just so crazy high damage against light characters. That's it. That guy cut off my freaking leg. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Yeah, that's a big deal. Last fight of the room. Another bandit. Ow. Ow. Oh, is this another kick boy? <laughs> it's another kick boy. I don't know why some bandits get like the random gen of kick guy. Well, he's fucking gone. My guy's cracked. Is this my first move? I don't think I want to fuck with. Yeah, I d chat like truly, even though this would be double the damage. I think the biggest bonus I have right now is that my dude's first attack comes out so fucking fast that I, I stun lock right now. I don't think I'm gonna fuck with the first move. Like that is carrying me right now, my dude's opener. I think the opener move needs to be super fast in this game, just like, uh, just like God Hand. Yeah, I don't have space for things. You know what? Ditch those fucking useless ass rocks. Get him out of here. Decay remains stable. Ten days left until God gets here. Oh, fuck. Dude. He's here. He's here. It's him. Add soul crystal during corpse construction to increase the damage of this corpse's soul strike by 20%. Yeah, that's uh, going in. I don't know how to. Oh, okay. So, I was confused because I was pressing it here to confirm and add materials. I didn't realize you have to have to do it in this menu. I had to do it down here and actually, like, tick it on this part. Okay. We are going to give him that ability. I'm not... Okay, it's confirmed, right? Okay. I am just kind of confused about how to confirm this and then actually do... Okay, there we go. Sorry, I, I didn't realize this was actually a menu asset over here. Like this extra button by the coffin. Okay. Okay. 
It's him. It's him. Death. We got time to do one more level. We're gonna take just this guy. Just the boy. Into a level one zone. Level one inquisition. For a rare cloak. We don't even know who the opponents are. And we won't be knowing. Oh, I need to apply preservatives quick. We are gonna have to bum rush this really fast. I'm not waiting around for anything. Don't even know what that does. Well, 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 the nun. Yeah, I spin. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I press square. What's good? That move is so much build up for the nun. Holy shit. I don't even move my character with analog sticks. I just let him move towards enemies. All right, they're dead. This guy's cracked. Yep, upgrade it. Grab all this crap. Let's go. Well, we will. Here I go. How you doing, man? How you feeling, man? Holy shit. The blender just got another upgrade. And that's all, remember that's my character's like base upgrade from being constructed too, is the blender does more damage. Essentially, if I break someone's guard, I can just activate the blender and instantly fucking kill them. But they live! Lady, you're not supposed to live! This guy's fucking busted. That's getting more upgrades! <laughs> Make him, you make it even stronger. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll play that move even more. Hello. Let's see if the Plague Doctor will, uh, be able to handle this one. Ow. Oh. That move's cool looking. My dude's like inspiration move. I don't even think I need to use my good move. Yeah, I'm not gonna. This guy doesn't need it. This plague docker has no fucking chance. My moves come out faster than his. All right. This game feels like it needs a command grab. You cannot give me another upgrade of this. What is that RNG? It, it truly gave me another upgrade of the fucking attack. Dude, I can't even take any of this stuff, nor do I want it. I just rolled that, that whole dungeon so hard. <laughs> that was, that was a hard roll. Go fight the marshal now. There's not enough time. But we do have a lot of bones now. We got enough bones to make like a bunch of guys. Hell yeah.
And we got a lot of skeletons too, a lot of skulls. Not bad. Yeah, this game's very cool. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to play any more right now. Uh, because I have D&D &D in two minutes. So I'm gonna send you guys over to Joe. Thanks for the gifted subs and donations and bits. I'll be back again for another stream tomorrow. Uh, this game's rad. Thanks for coming on by. I'm gonna send you guys over to Joe Fudge. I will see you... Uh, yeah, it'll be 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Normal start. Normal start, normal, normal everything tomorrow. All right. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Okay. Get the hell on out of here. Go on now, get. <laughs>